Welcome friends, let us get into this course of introduction to product design and manufacturing. So, this is lecture number 1. Uh, so, in this lecture we will try to cover some basics, very basics about product, product design and manufacturing. So, the content of this lecture will be introduction, then design uh, is by two ways, one is by evolution, another one is by innovation. Then we will uh, look into production consumption cycle and then ideas and methods of product realization process, certain definitions like manufacturing, logistics and producibility. First let us try to understand what is a product. This is very important. Product in a very crude sense is trying to understand customer needs and developing something which is useful for the customer. And when you try to do this for the customer, you also have to put in some economics into it. That is what is a very crude definition for a product. If there is no customer, no point in developing a product. So, it is now very clear anything we claim it to be a product has to have some customers. right? So, in marketing, a product is and in several different uh, segments or sectors, the same product can be re redefined or can be given different different views. So, when you talk about in marketing, a product is anything that can be offered to a market that might satisfy a want or a need of a customer. Uh, today, there are so many products which are available uh, and in spite of it, there are new new, new products also coming into uh, market. Why? Because Earlier, people were happy if they get something to satisfy their needs. Today, people have started asking or demanding for customization. The key word in today's product is mass customization. When you talk about mass customization, then every individual needs a product to satisfy his or her own needs. For example, let us take the shoe and a typical population of India where it is 130 billion people or let us even take 1000 people are there in a, in a, in a college, 1000 people are there. And all these 1000 people are segmented put under several sizes like shoe size of 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, all these 1000 people have to fall in, in the 5 boxes of sizes 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Suppose, let us assume a boy has a foot size of 6.5, which falls 6 size is tight to wear, 7 size is loose to wear. Now, he has to take a trade off between to choose 6 or 7. So, here the product is not customized for his requirements. Second thing, when we buy shoe, we always look at the foot size. But when you talk about a foot, a foot also has a covering on top of it. This plays a very important role because many people have broad foot, short length. So, here these people also have a problem in identifying the exact shoe for them. Another example, let us take a ready made shirt or a jeans pant. So, when we try to buy a pant, we always get into a small problem like the length is ok, but the waist size may be tight or loose. So, again here there has to be a mass customization has to happen. So, in marketing term a product is anything that can offer to a market that might satisfy a want or a need. And another interesting thing I let me explain to you. A product which works very good at certain geographical locations might not perform the same percentage or same efficiency in another place. For example, let us take all European countries or uh, let us take all developed countries. The solar panel or put on the rooftop solar panels, they work at efficiency somewhere close to 15 percent. The same panels when they are installed in India or 
in the in the developing countries their efficiency falls down by by another 5 percent. This is because there is something called as dust factor which is present in the environment which dictates. So, which worked very well in developed countries and when it came down to India or in developing countries the same efficiency is not reached. So, here if you want that same efficiency we have to do customization. Okay. Next in business that means to say in retail business the product are always called as mercantize. In manufacturing a product are bought as raw material you add value to the raw material and convert it into a finished goods. When you talk about service sector the product has a different definition for example, Ola, Uber they are all also products wherein which it is more focused towards service segment and they also try to make customer sa satisfaction. Today Ola and Uber they started with car and now they have gone to auto rickshaw and today they have come down to bicycles. So, look at it. So, there is a possibility of evolution and when this evolution happens they always try to make a customer happy plus they also try to put in economics. So, now I think I have made it very clear a product is something you make to for a customer and make him happy and where economics also plays a role. If economics and customer satisfaction is not there we do not develop products. Next I will add one term to it which is product design. What is a product design? Product design deals with conversion of dream into reality in order to fulfill human needs. See why am I putting this? Because you can think of a product and you can virtually draw the product, but virtual drawing does not give a satisfaction to the customer. When you talk about video games, yes of course, so video games is more towards virtual, but when you want to have a feel for a product and when this product has to be touched and used. So, then it is like product designer deals with conversion of a dream into reality in order to fulfill human needs. A designer produces first a prototype and this prototype is studied several times and got customer feedback and then what he does is he tries to freeze the design for mass production. Okay. So, a designer's responsibility is to produce a prototype and then try to freeze the prototype such that he can make goods for customer needs. So, what is the responsibility of a designer? The responsibility of the designer is to make sure that mass customization happens in the product. So, he produces a sufficient number of prototypes gets customer satisfaction and then he freezes the production drawings or manufacturing process such that this process of producing can be repeatable. If there is an error he has to go back reiterate and then come back and start doing it. Products are of two categories or the product design is of two categories one is designed by evolution and designed by innovation. Design by evolution means the product gets evolved over a period of time and it always has a delta x improvement and there is not much of change in the basic structure of the product. Okay. This has been there for a long time, my grandfather developed a product, my father improvised the product, I further improvised the product, but still the product is the same. For example, you can take a house, my grandfather constructed the house, my father added some energy efficiency uh, models into the house, then I further try to improve some other technological developments which has happened I have added to the house, but still that house is a house which has the basic structure. The other example for design for evolution can be this bicycle bicycle which was maybe this bicycles came in 18th century and the full 19th century the bicycle still maintained the same design. For example, it had two wheels 
right? It had two wheels and a place to sit and a handlebar to do. The only change which happened was it had a crank at the front wheel. This was shifted to this place. So, the crank whatever was there got shifted to this portion. Why? Because people had difficulty in, in first pedaling it that is ergonomically not friendly and second thing is they had to apply lot of load. So, this got over a period of time this got changed and the crank got shifted here and then we had a chain and sprocket mechanism which improved the efficiency of bicycle. But interestingly till the late 19th century or in the early 20th century this triangle part which was there was common in all the bicycle. If anybody you ask in sleep please draw a bicycle he quickly puts a triangle and two wheels and a seat to sit. So, this triangle structure has now changed. Today you have structures like Z, today you have structures like this. So, where in which it is taking more strength component into it into the design. So, these are all recent evolutions, but this is designed for by evolution. There is a delta x improvement, but there is not much of new things have got attached to it over a period of time. So, in the past design by evolution was the standard thing thumb rule which was followed here the design took a long time for stabilizing and changing. So, a long span time design was followed the same rapid technologies were never thought of getting added. For example, the CAD which was softwares were never used CAD softwares with, with no time can give you new new models new new designs can give you new visualization for the same which was not thought of in design by evolution. Okay. So, then the major disadvantage because of this evolution are unsuitability for mass production. So, look at it here an evolved design is rather crude and is more oriented towards design by masses. So, people try to design their own solution for production of masses rather than mass production. Please underline this and it is very interesting towards design by mass. So, all of them contributed in evolving the design. Okay. But uh, and it was very heavy production for form of masses. So, it was very heavy, but it was never for good for mass production. Any difficult the disadvantage of following design for evolution difficulty in modification people were not ready to accept or companies were not ready to take because they felt that the existing design is well proven. Why should we change the design which is going to be more costlier for them. And it did not look at new technological evolutions. So, design for evolutions never gave a scope for adopting new technologies which was concurrently happening during that time of the design of a particular product. Design by innovation, design by innovation is here people started taking a product and people started adding lot of scientific this new scientific discovery into it new technologies into it and they were allowing the product to evolve to develop rather than evolution. So, here there were a drastic change for example, if you take a camera which was earlier a roll based camera. So, you used to take a picture and then you de develop the film, then you make photographs, it used to have a long cycle time. Today, the entire concept of photography is changed because of digitization. The computer memory space has gone smaller and smaller and smaller, the performance of the computer has gone efficient more and more and more. Why? Because they the design which happened was by innovation they started adding new 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 technologies to their product such that the product can become smaller efficient and better.
Okay. So, a new method of technical knowledge developed rapidly by a, a scientific discovery. So, this was integrated into the product. It may ultimately tend to be a complete deviation from the existing trend. So, the deviation in the photography is earlier we had a roll based, we used to have a, a cleaning, a, a washing uh, room, then we used to have a developing room, there was a developing liquid which was used. All these things have changed today. So, every skill which the designer must muster in analysis, it is muster is a, is a right word, in analyzing and synthesizing is instrumental in a totally novel design. So, basically what a designer has to do is, he has to go search for literature, he has to go search in Google, he has to go search in for new uh, books, handbooks and develop technology, do lot of cut and paste between two technologies, try to customize it to his product and develop a new product. For example, here I have given laser, a laser which was there for a long time, it became more and more efficient and it became more and more smarter over a period of time which started initially from distance measuring cutting, today it has gone to uh, into every malls where in which the product numbering, product uh, counting is done by laser scanning. So, a laser beam was a revolutionary invention in the field of medical as well as engineering. Initially, it was used only by physicists, but today it has found lot of application in medicine. Today, a lot of optical surgeries are done very fast, very quick and the customer is very happy. The turnover time of hospitals is, is very, very low. That means to say a person, patient enters in the morning by noon, he is done with his operation and he goes off. So, the great revolution happened because of laser bringing it into medical and engineering field. So, this is what the earlier uh, laser design, they used to have a valve based system, today they have completely changed into diode based system. This is more energy efficient, energy efficient and it occupies small space and it is controllable, that means to say selectively tunable. Today all the hardware which hardware drive which is there, there is a blue laser which quickly jumps from one segment to the another segment, one sector to the other sector and quickly reads the data. It is all because of this laser becoming more and more efficient. So, let us get into the uh, into another topic which is nothing but production consumption cycle. It is one of the most important thing which uh, which features of socio-ecological system. So, when we try to develop products, we should try to have the social touch also to the product. For example, I develop a product, introduce into the market, what social impact that is going to happen on to the product, on to the uh, customer or to the society what social and it is also what is the change or what is the disturbance it is going to do in the socio-ecological system. When you develop any product, today you should also make sure that what amount of social changes it is going to bring in. So, developing a product which can kill 20,000 people's job is no way acceptable because a developing country needs to have products wherein which they still have to involve the people around in the society. If you try to develop all intelligent based products and if it is going to not consider the semi skilled or unskilled labor present in the society, then that product over a period of time is going to create a huge damage. So, there has to be a scope for involving everybody in the society to use that product or by giving service you by using that product to the customer is the best product which we can develop. In this uh, production and consumption cycle, you have four steps, one is production step, distribution, consumption and recovery. So, production is producing, distribution how good or how 
efficiently you are going to distribute the produced product from one place to rest of the places. So, that is distribution and as far as when the customer is consuming the product. So, when he tries to consume what is the residue left for example, today we use lot of plastic bags. So, these plastic bags are, are going to bring lot of damage to the mother earth. So, people recently I, I have been reviewing several projects. So, there was a product which was developed by one of our friend. So, what he did is he developed a bag which is biodegradable a bag which is biodegradable and in this bag what he did is he has dispersed seeds of tulsi. So, when you throw this bag into the uh, into uh, mother nature or when you throw out this bag is biodegradable it is made out of paper. And uh, this paper has been worked on it, he has produced enough, he has proved that it has enough stiffness to hold at least 15 kilos of material and then he has made two, uh, two handles and everything which is all made out of paper itself. And then in the base he has dispersed lot of seeds of tulsi. So, his claim is when he tries to disperse this bag and these tulsis are dispersed in the soil, there is a possibility a new seed can germ out. So, this is something which is very, very interesting. So, here he has thought about the socio-ecological system and when I try to distribute, now people are trying to talk about why see uh, you try to distribute uh, in larger packets where plastics can be reduced and distribution I recently found out a very efficient way which students are doing it. See when this big basket uh, company which says that if you try to place an order of up to 1000 rupees we do free home delivery. So, uh, you can replace big basket with X company, Y company, Z company whatever is your choice. So, some X company comes and says that okay, if you buy, uh, if you place an order of more than 2000 rupees we do a free delivery. So, here what students have started doing the company did because they worked out on the transportation. Students what they have come out with a beautiful model is they started having a, a having a WhatsApp and then they circulated that I am going to order from this X company uh, for whatever it is. So, you do anybody want uh, to be ordered in the same X company. So, then there were 6 or 7 more students added their own items to it. So, the total cost came to 2000 and then they got it delivered. So, all the students could get their products delivered in their at their room with 0 transportation cost. So, a company works out with the distribution model, the, the, the customer works out with the distribution model. So, these are all these are all keeping socio ecological system into into their mind and another thing is recovery today. So, what is happening when we look at heavy uh, heavy products for example, a refrigerator. So, in refrigerator what happens is the compressor many companies give a certificate saying that I give you a warranty that 14 years my compressor works, but hardly today people keep a refrigerator for more than 5 years for 2 reasons. One design is becoming more and more efficient. Two, the requirement of people are also changing. For example, when I am a, in a family of 4 members, today my I have 2 sons, one is of the age of 10, the other is of the age of 5. So, today the requirements are I have to buy and keep lot of fresh foods this and that, but 10 years from now or 5 years from now I become old, my wife becomes old, our food habit style changes my two son have now become adolescent, their food ha habits have changed. So, I need a refrigerator which can now accommodate to the new requirements. So, earlier the freezer was thought of to be kept on the top compartment of the refrigerator, today it has got moved now, uh, it has moved to the bottom. Earlier they used to say fridge has a standard size. Today we talk about fridge with expandable size both in terms of length and breadth. We say at earlier the refrigerator was completely controlled under one temperature. Now they say every compartment can be customized and controlled depending upon your item which you place inside. So, these things are now forcing me to change to a new product. 
So, going back to that uh, refrigerator example, so in refrigerators they say a compressor of 14 years they give guarantee or warranty. But I change my refrigerator in once in 5 years or 7 years. So, what happens to my compressor where a company gave 14 years of warranty? Now, companies have come out with two models. First model they say is please come back to us and you buy a new product from us where in which we reduce the cost of the, of the compressor. The second thing is that the company says that okay, I will try to remove only the compressor and I will try to take that compressor as buyback, rest all you disperse it to anybody I do not bother. So, this is nothing but using parts which are already there in a product which is recoverable and which can be placed in another product. I stop here and let us continue further in lecture 2. Thank you very much.